Hey guys, what's up? So if you have been following along with this series, you already know that we have done the movement for our character and the jump for our character. So this is something that you must have by now. So today we'll be adding the camera movement. So basically the first thing I'll be doing is we have this main camera in our scene and I'll be making it a child making it the child object of our player. So just by dragging and dropping it inside the player, the main camera is its child object. For the Y axis of a camera movement, we'll be rotating our camera using input.get axis mouse x and this will move our character basically this will move our player in Y axis but by that our camera should also move. So let me just show you quickly how this will look. Now you can see that my camera is moving in Y axis even though the player object that it's uh, the parent object of the camera which is our player he's moving in the Y axis. So if I'm pressing the W key you should see our character is moving forward. Okay so you can also multiply it with some value to make it more smoother. We'll be testing some value with it in a bit but first let's get the camera movement in our x axis so we'll be doing for that we'll be adding an empty object in our player itself so i'll do create empty and i'll call it cam pivot so this is going to be the pivot point of our camera which will be right where the where our player player's center point is so i'll be dragging and dropping and making the making our camera the child object of our cam pivot so now we can simply rotate this cam pivot in the x axis like this. I'm moving it in our scene right now as you can see. So this is what we want to do from the code and I'll be giving reference. I'll, it will be a type of transform but this is for just to give reference to our camera pivot. Okay so I'll just say cam pivot and I can drag and drop in, in inspector window so we'll do that later on okay now we can do cam pivot dot rotate and this time we'll be using input dot get axis mouse y so this will be the movement of mouse this will give us the movement of mouse in y axis but we want to make this negative you can try it out and see why i'm saying it should be negative if you if you do it without the negative sign you can see that it's gonna move inverted the rotation of our the rotation of our cam pivot in x axis is going to be inverted i haven't given it reference yet so i'll drag cam pivot right here all right now let me just start the scene again Okay, now we are able to move in X axis as well. Okay, this looks great. I'll just move the camera a bit forward and a bit in X axis because in the middle, our crosshair is going to stand in the middle. So we can show how we are shooting and stuff. So yep, you can adjust the camera as per your character and as per your needs but I'll be keeping the character a bit in the bit at the left side. This seems to work great. But right now you can see that I can just keep rotating like this. So we have to add a constraint that at some point it doesn't it, like it stops moving in the X axis. Okay, so for that let's get back to the Visual Studios. So for that I'll be making a new float. I'll call it X root, which basically root is gonna be short for X rotation. Okay, X root is going to be this right here, which is minus input dot get axis mouse Y. Alright, so I'm just gonna do it minus equals to alright, like this. And now I can feed X rotation here instead. But before that, we'll clamp it like so. 
x rotation equals to mathf dot clamp and it's gonna be x rotation again our value would be x rotation again and the minimum value would be minus 30f and I want it to move a bit upwards when the camera is looking from the top so I'm gonna make it 50f but again you can play around with these values and see what fits for your game okay I'm just gonna quickly start and let's see if everything is working fine okay instead of cam pivot dot rotate I'll be using Euler angles you can do Euler angles just this that's it so I'll do cam pivot dot Euler angles and I'll be setting it as a new vector tree so for our y-axis of our cam pivot dot Euler angle we'll be doing transform dot Euler angles dot y so we can take this rotation from here for the mouse x which is being feed to our transform itself which is a player object okay also let me just do x rotation of camera all right now we have our camera working for our character controller let me just give it a shot and let me show you how it looks okay everything is working there is a constraint as well okay so everything is working as you can see now in the next video maybe we'll add an, add an actual character and animations of that character so yeah tune in for that video and you can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you could get notified whenever i'm gonna upload the video Alright, that's it for this one. Thank you.